Describe Mario's coaching hiring in a few words. Simple, simple. Tell her no waiver. Let's talk about it. Y'all gonna like and subscribe. Hey yo, it's your boy, the 12th man. Hey, like, share, and subscribe. All that. Canes all day, baby. All right, guys. So basically, the coaching search for wide receiver is still going on. Or maybe the guy's hired, but we haven't heard anything. So it's the it's the last day of the month. Tomorrow's the first of the month. Wake up. Wake up. It's the first of the month. That kind of thing. Anyways, um, spring practice start on the 4th, guys, on the 4th. And there's a big recruiting um, event coming up on the 4th. On the 4th, basically. Miami's basketball game. Pitt versus Miami for the ACC championship. Yes, for the ACC championship. Whoever wins this game win the, win the ACC. So all the recruits will be there. Yes, that game, they will be there. All the, the top guys in the 24 class and some of the 25s and maybe even 26. So wide receivers, a lot of wide receivers will be there. And wouldn't it be nice to have a wide receivers coach hired? Now, we do have news that um, Leonard Hankinson would not be that guy. I'm pretty sure that um, Kevin Beard might not be that guy, but not quite so sure. Maybe not even Coley, but who will be the wide receivers coach? Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Get, your guest is as good as mine at this moment. Okay, guys, so going into this segment that I'm about to talk about, I'm going to say this right now. Everything that I say after this point is alleged. Um, I do have some sources on this, and I will not um, provide any of that, so don't ask, and I don't care if you believe it or not. I'm just going to tell you anyway, so let's go. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Let's go. Okay, so as you guys see, the Fox Big Ten, the... ESPN SEC. Now, uh, Miami, Florida State, Clemson, and all these other teams are locked in with the ACC till 2036. Grant of rights, I'm talking about a TV deal that's not very lucrative right now. That's very outdated, yes. Um, we see the SEC getting, you know, big top money. We see the Big Ten getting big top money, about 50 million, um, while the ACC is stuck where the ACC is. So, how do we resolve this issue? From what I'm hearing, all they have to do is get the ACC to dismantle. Yes, all they have to do to get out of this contract is to get a vote of eight teams, eight teams in the ACC, to get out of the contract. Now, there are only a few teams in this in this um, conference that's worth a crap to any other conference, to be honest with you, that's giving out the big deals. Miami being one. Clemson being one, Florida State being one, North Carolina being one, and the other one is none other than the, Pan the Pitt Panthers. We have five teams that's worth a crap. North Carolina, I forgot. I forgot to add North Carolina. Did I, did I say North Carolina? I think I did. If I didn't, oh, well, North Carolina too. So we don't have enough teams in this conference that's worth a crap to other conferences to why this might not work. But if the ACC, from what I'm hearing, could merge with the Pac-12, not Pac, yes, the Pac-12. Um, it could be very lucrative to a TV deal, which would strike up new negotiations and they could possibly get out of those contracts. Now, let's just say a team wanna go rogue and wanna leave the ACC without even doing the votes or anything like that, they're just fed up. Let's just say a Florida State, because since their AD has thrown it out there, that they could possibly try to buy out of the um, ACC. Well, first things first, the contract, I think, buyout would be $120 million. Then on top of that, you have the grant of rights, which from what I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is about half a, half a billion, half a billion. So about $500 million. Does Florida State have the, the testicular fortitude to cough up that amount of money? Now, the $120 million, um, given, a, given the contract in the SEC, you could pay that off. You could break even, I'm sorry, in four years' time. Now the Grand and Riders are told a different beast. So that's what keeping a lot of the ACC teams are put. But if they can make a vote, a vote, eight teams come together, say we want out, the, the conference will dissolve, the contracts will be terminated, and it's a whole different story now. But there are not enough teams that could see themselves getting a better deal than what the ACC has given if they were to leave. So that's where the issue lays. 
Now, the Pac-12 and the ACC are planning mergers where they will basically play each other and stuff like that. And also, I'm hearing, guys, that the ACC could possibly add two more teams. Two more teams. Now, this would take us way out west in Oregon and Washington. Yes, Oregon and Washington. Oregon and Washington was those two teams that was left behind by the Big Ten when they took UCLA and um, USC. Those two teams are pretty much up for grab. They did not want to go to the Big Ten. Not the Big Ten, the Big 12, because they did not see it to be very lucrative. Now, let's talk about SMU and San Diego um, State. San Diego State and SMU is being approached by none other than the Pac-12. So those two teams could possibly come in, give them a market in Texas, and some more marketing in California. So not quite the level of a usc or a ucla but nonetheless it will give them a market um and to replace some of the revenue that will be lost from those tv markets and those those tv areas so smu is in texas dallas of course that could bring um the pac-12 a lot of value and you know get their foot in the door in the state of texas now i'm also hearing that the acc could possibly also reach out to two more other teams in arizona state and arizona itself two two so four possible teams for the acc to add which would force a renegotiation of contract and they could um possibly get out of that tv deal with the acc you know the, the ridiculousness it's tough um lot being locked in such a deal to 2036 we're being left behind guys all the other teams um by the by 2000 and um 36 they'll be flying they'll be flying cars they'll be um you know doing all kind of futuristic stuff that we were supposed to have been seeing happen and we'll be stuck riding scooters basically with this acc deal that's, that's the kind of magnitude this thing is all right guys so let's go to a different type of magnitude yes so acc let's just say the acc commissioners and you know, presidents and everybody get together and say, okay, listen, we're going to vote to dissolve this thing. And then we're going to, you know, renegotiate contracts and stuff like that. Get all the teams aboard. Assure the teams that, listen, once we, we break this thing apart, we will also get it right back together, stick together. Nobody will be left out. Then reach out to Oregon, Washington, Arizona State, and Arizona, and, you know, form an even bigger conference yes right now the acc is at um 14 teams that will take them to 18 and possibly maybe even um steal a smu before the pac-12 you know get it so right now we're talking about survival of the fittest if the, if the acc could do what basically the sec and the big 10 done which is um take teams from the big 12 and the pac-12 then the acc could be the surviving factor it could actually join join forces like the SEC and um, Big Ten and possibly be in a power conference. Yeah, so, you know, taking um, SMU before, you know, the Pac-12 does. And so, basically, if, my, if the ACC was to reach in and grab those four teams from the Pac-12, the Pac-12 would more than likely um, dissolve or those teams would probably have to get in where they fit in the rest of the leftovers and, and, and it is what it is so right now it's, it's strategic we also seen that the big 12 and the big 10 and the um and the pac 12 and the acc they were supposed to all form this alliance and then next thing you know you've seen the big 10 went over and still ucla and um usc so right now it's survival of the fittest guys if these conference wants to stay alive they got to make those big boys move but y'all get in the comment section tell me how you guys feel about these um conference realignments um should the acc vote eight teams vote to dissolve and then renegotiate contract um should miami and florida state and clemson and those teams that's worth a damn just go ahead and break the contract and um you know make up the revenue with four to five years time um will the grand and right present any problems y'all guys let me know in the comment section like share subscribe that's crazy i just say, okay i just say that's crazy because there's a guy sitting on his car outside right now just farted loud as hell that's that's tough